Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to show you today how I go about doing prospecting for Airbnb units and how I find new opportunities and new Airbnb locations. Um, it's not too difficult to do. So let me d dive right into this. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull up Airbnb and I'm gonna look at, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna pull up apartments.com. I'm gonna type in uh, a location. So let's say, uh, let's use Kansas City, right? Kansas City, Missouri. <clears throat> Enough people to make it make it profitable. So let's look at uh, let's try to stay between um, five hundred to thousand dollars per month, and let's look for a two bed unit in Missouri. Now something else, a, a quick little tip. I would go to Airbnb.com and I type something in like Kansas City, uh, just to get a general idea. You can just do arbitrary dates select a certain amount of guests let's say five right go to stays so this is going to give you a general idea of what you can charge in the city of Kansas City right for uh, Airbnb so here's something right here looks like a nice unit um, right 456 uh, 4.5 star review 100 review $68 per night um, okay let's clear the dates so he's got few things booked up right he's got all of next week I'm shooting this the 18th so he's got all of next week booked out so it looks like a nice unit um, that's running out quite a bit so let's take a look at what something like this would look like right so obviously a very contemporary look clean nice furniture nice chandelier nice chandelier and guys I'm going through this real quick uh, to keep you engaged in the video if you want skip around and you can see different sections of this where I go into different detail and different uh, aspects of Airbnb and uh, prospect location right or, or, or uh, finding locations excuse me so nice kitchen uh, very clean dishwasher is a little bit old right nice nice see again these photos too very um, very uh, wide shots it, it really shows the uh, depth of space and it shows the nice overall look they have the lights on in the photos to show a nice hue right nice bathroom and, and again I know I just mentioned I'm contradicting myself but something like this right it's good to mix in both the wide angle shots and then also very specific detail so very nice done right nice nice very contemporary this looks like a big place right nice uh, outside view of the house Victorian style uh, something else to note it's a Victorian style house so very nice uh, nice aesthetics to it right okay so you get a general gist $68 per night um, nice description Victoria home near the power and light district Kansas City 10 guests three bedroom three bath so this is a three bedroom three bath uh, 10 guests it's priced pretty low for that size of a unit I'd say um, if we go back and we look at other units in that area right um, something like this entire house three bed four bath okay so you know and again this is what you have to test with the market is you got to see what the market is demanding and you got to price your place accordingly so just to take a look I would clear the dates here on something like this and I would go so he's very booked out right um, almost it's the 18th he's got all of next week booked out and all of the first week of December and the all of the last week of December so this booking is a fantastic example of you know something that has a very high occupancy rate he's almost half booked out in December and it's only the uh, not even the end of November right so very basic photos wide shots you know nice clean home nice detail again this is what I was alluding to is you know very detailed shots right nice shot of the outside nice backyard nice little patio gazebo uh, washer and dryer amenities cool door very unique this is another thing to note so in your listings and your photos make sure you take very um, th the unique aspects of your Airbnb and you uh, take photos of them and really compliment them uh, you know because those are the things that stick out and those are the things that guests remember right so kind of an ugly driveway but very nice uh, aesthetics on the outside getting back to the beginning so there you go $90 per night you know someone like this uh, maybe this place costs fifteen sixteen hundred dollars per month based on you know what the pricing is for a two-bed apartment that's what I'm just basing the size of a home on on the current rents in uh, Kansas City so that's just an overview of a listing so you get a general idea I recommend to kind of go through and get a general gist of 
you know what people are charging uh, see who are super hosts see what they're charging see how many reviews they have here's a rare find there you go this place is usually booked 4.6 stars $99 per night where is it in the in the sense of location right so it's way down here here's the city uh, center here so for 99 this looks pretty booked out right here was it this one one of these this guy uh, this one maybe right so there you go uh, yeah 4.6 stars 104 reviews $99 per night so let's just take a gander at her uh, bookings real quick so she's booked out the last week of November look almost 50% occupancy in December already and some booked already in January and February so you know this is a very hot uh, market right here um, and this listing is doing great so a great example of a listing that's doing very very good right nice look right I like uh, so this is more of a cheek uh, chic uh, antique style uh, look right I'm just gonna zip through real quick right so nice amenities so this is an interesting aspect is that this is a little bit different this look this is more contemporary where this is more you know that uh, older style chic and then they've got uh, this is a great way to get more guests right have more beds so great unit right so let's go back to the point of this video and that's to take a look at you know what's available in the market and uh, the price points so obviously something like $99 a night that we just looked at in the Airbnb right um, let's take a look at uh, I'm also gonna pull up Zillow real quick and uh, and show you Zillow right so this is a uh, uh, Kansas City Missouri and I'm going to take a look at um, for rent not for sale and I'm gonna take a look at only homes single-family homes right so let's take a look at a single-family home in Missouri in Kansas City and uh, let's see like something like uh, so this would be obviously a high price point um, but obviously very very clean I'm sure you could easily get 99 to 120 per night for something like this uh, this would be something more like what I would recommend you know very clean unit so this is a great example right very very modern very clean it's already got Decker home decker and very very contemporary very clean feels you know nice brick cool looking bathroom very nice aesthetics right it would be appealing to most people very very nice so there's an example of that and if you can find a furnished listing you know kudos to you that uh, all the better because and then you don't have to furnish it and you can kind of mitigate some of those initial startup costs just by finding a furnished place but anyway so let's look at a few more here's 1500 that's probably a little bit more than you know what we're looking to get um, in a unit there we go I was gonna refresh it so let's take something like uh, this right nice little place right you know you could easily turn this into uh, a 60 70 80 dollar per night uh, booking any of these really they're, they're all pretty uh, you know obviously it depends on the location too so the place we looked at was around here right for 99 per night so something closer to town square would even be a better option right take a look at units I'm just gonna zoom in so let's take something like this right cute little place so I wouldn't advise uh, obviously this is a more older style looking building um, I would look for something more modern um, and it's probably gonna be a little bit pricier just based on what I'm seeing right so here's a nice unit outside so or uh, so so but the inside is very clean very nice um, not so nice backyard you might want to put something in there to make it a little bit more pleasing but that wouldn't be a bad property let's take a look uh, find a better one here guys so let's take something like this yeah here we go so here's sixteen hundred dollars a month right very clean inside nice appearance right 
So this would be an example of a good unit. Um, it's a three bed, two bath, 1200 square feet, $1,600 per month, right? Let's see, prime location, won't last long, flex flexible lease, that's good to know, right? So here's the number, um, you know, for prospecting, what I would do is I'd take this number and I'll just show you an example, I'm gonna copy this, and I'm gonna go over to my spreadsheet, right? Actually, I'll start a new spreadsheet. Gonna go here, we go to here, and I'm gonna start a new spreadsheet called Prospect Listings, right? So I'm gonna make a title called uh, Name, excuse me, Location, uh, Address, Unit Type, Price, Month and phone number and then sometimes also include a url right so something like this i take the url go back over here you know phone number i'm just going to do this real quick right so you guys don't get bored price per month sometimes i even forget what i put down right so unit type three bed three bath oops Sorry, unit type, address, and uh, location. I'm just gonna say MO, right? So I might bold these guys as well, put a box around them. So this is an example of, again, doing prospecting. So now you have all of these details and it's easy to go and navigate to the tab, see the unit. You can continue doing this and uh, really start building up your list Right, so here's a beautiful unit. Um, see how the, the photos even, they, they use a Lightroom filter um, for their photos and that really makes it pop. Uh, I really recommend to use some type of Lightroom photos. Uh, if you have Lightroom, I'll show you. This is the, the app right here, right? Um, very, very powerful. It's by Adobe, I highly recommend. Um, I do have some Lightroom presets. If you wanna reach out to me uh, in the comments below, I will, uh, post the link so that you guys can download download those uh, Lightroom presets as well. Very easy to apply. You can look up a YouTube video and just see uh, how to apply the Lightroom filters. So, with that said, um, you know that was a great example of a unit that I would recommend um, to do Airbnb with. Same thing. You take these, you put them under here. I'm not going to do it again just for time's sake. I don't want to bore you guys, but same thing, right? And I would create a list and aggregate it, something like this, right? So this is a list that I've been putting together, and then I have call details, contacted, call notes, and all of the information, when the appointment uh, appointment date is, um, units that are crossed out, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that is an overview of how to prospect on Airbnb. Um, you know, you can do the same thing, and to double check, you can actually go to Airbnb, and you can go to host a home. And you can type in a location like Kansas City, Missouri, right? And you can see, let's say it's six guests, you can see a generalized overview of what you know people are getting. And this data is based on a 15-day occupancy or, or a 50% occupancy. So 15 days out of the 30 days of the month. So it's really a good representation of you know what you can do with airbnb how you can be so profitable with this rental arbitrage style business and this is a great example of how to prospect how to find units and then obviously the next step is to follow up and uh, i'll be doing another video where i'll be explaining how to contact this landlord or property management company pitch them and explain the rental arbitrage model um, there's a lot of terminology and things to use so make sure to check out my other videos down below in the comments below um, and i will Definitely recommend uh, you check out those courses or, or those uh, different videos. They'll really, be, they'll really be beneficial to you and they'll explain the logic and the psychology behind selling landlords and property management companies and the terminology you need to use to allow them to do, uh, allow you to do Airbnb with their units. Thanks guys. Tune in to the next time and I'll see you soon. Peace.